Hi everyone, I'm Maya Jammer and I'm here with Bacardi Spice and Defected Presents Drum Sessions. Big, big night ahead as we're having a party, streamed on Twitch, but before all of the music, I'm going to be speaking to Archie Hamilton. Hello. Hello. How are you feeling? I'm very good, how are you? Ready for tonight? Ready. Ready and pumped up. So we start with the songs. Yes. What tune gets you in your feels? It's one by Octave One called Blackwater mm -hmm. and it's it's... There's something so emotive about it. There's a really nice vocal, but it's the track that I remember hearing at Fabric about six, seven in the morning, and it's the one track that made me go, "Do you know what? This is what I want to do. This, 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 is this, it. this I, I can't physically cannot do anything else other than be a DJ." No way. Yeah. So it's a spiritual one for you then. Massively, and I played it. A few, I played it a few times. It's been. I mean, there, we played it at this after party in '93 for East once a couple of years ago, and it's just got this amazing effect that it just lifts the room, and it just has a really like emotive effect on me as well. Nice. And so, how about when you go to a party and you're not playing? What kind of vibe do you want? When I go to a party and I'm not playing, I just want to go and hear loud music and be around people and forget about everything else that's going on in the world. Yeah. Why do you think music can do that? Like, what is the power of music that makes you lose yourself in your feels? It's amazing. It's but it's transportative, and I think there's something about this. So for me, there's two parts to this, right? One is is that it's that transportative thing. Music is made to... It's, it's a snapshot of a given time of that artist and whenever they make the track, right? So for me, when I listen to a track, new piece of music, even an old piece of music, I try to... In, it's not even a try to. I always end up envisioning what that mood was at the time when the track was made. So that's the transportative part. Now, the other part that I think is really special is the collective experience. So mm -hmm. you go into a room with loads of people and you're all experiencing that same emotion at the same time. And it's really, there's something really sort of connecting about it, it's stunning. Yeah, yeah. And, and in terms of what you play, what song is guaranteed to shut down any party? So at the moment, it's actually a new one of mine called Feel It. And it's um, just one of those ones. And actually there's, there's two tracks on the, on the record, one which I thought would be the bigger hit it's actually the other one, it's the deeper one. So it's something about kind of deepness of music I think people are feeling at the moment. Yeah. How do you like to spice up a party? Well, if I'm playing, I think it's got to be drop a, like a big vocal or an edit of a well-known tune or something like that that people can connect to and hook into. Okay. And your sets in three words? So deep, as in just nice, deep, soulful vibes. Groovy because it always has to have a groove, percussion, nice funky bass line, and heady, which is the sort of more trippy and, and transportative element of it. So something of little snippets of vocals and things, yeah. Got you, so you're out of space with it. There you go. Basically. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. What's coming up actually in the rest of the year? I've got a big US tour in December, and I think I'm gonna try and get out of Europe for as much time as I can in January, February, go to South America, Ecuador, Colombia, nice. travel around a little bit. Oh my gosh, amazing. Yeah. We'll have the best time. Thank you very much. Before you go abroad, though, you've got to go to a bartender, try, try the spice cocktail, right. and we'll see you in a bit. See you soon. Thank you. Cheers, then. Yeah. So I've just been sent over by Maya to my very own Bacardi bar, and I hear you're gonna make me a cocktail. Yeah. So let's start with your three words that describe your sound. So deep, groovy, heady. Awesome. When I hear deep, I'm thinking of the depth of flavors that are in the Bacardi spice. Yeah. So you've got loads of like rum, loads mm -hmm. of dark spice, and I feel like 
we should probably do something with pineapple. Are you yeah, fan of pineapple? I love pineapple. Love awesome. It. I've got a swizzle in mind. Mm -hmm. um, let's What's just get swizzle? started. So a swizzle is essentially a drink that is built in a tin and then you use a... Okay. You should use a swizzle stick, but yeah, we've yeah. got a spoon and okay. we're just going to muddle nice. it with some ice. Great. So this one isn't going to be shaken. Mm -hmm. So let's just get started. Let's do it. Awesome. So we're going to start off with a double measure of Bacardi Spice. So that's 50 ml. Lovely. Straight in the tin. Mm -hmm. So what I really want to play around with here is bringing out some of those vanilla notes that yeah. you get. So it's like vanilla, a little bit of ginger, yeah, a touch nice. of honey, just like really sweet. bold. Yeah, yeah, sweet, really, really well balanced. Love it. Yeah, so next we're gonna move on to the pineapple juice. Lovely. Just like, just playing along with like the vanilla notes that you're gonna get. Mm -hmm. Just really wanna dial that up. A bit of sharpness as exactly. well. Exactly. So I'm gonna do 25 ml. Gonna add some lime juice. We're gonna nice. use only a little bit, yep. just a touch. We're gonna use 10 ml. Now we need a little bit of sweetness. Yes. So I've got oh, straight pure, up sugar. Straight up sugar, we're just gonna Why pour not? it in. Just gonna pour it right. in. I measure it with the spoon. Yeah. You don't want too much. Two, two sugars, please. Yeah, perfect. And then, as you know, the Bacardi spice is super rich. Mm -hmm. So along with the vanilla, I wanna add some okay. dark spice. Bitters? Yeah, some dark Lovely. spice bitters. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna add two dashes of that. Perfect. Not even much at all then. It's not much. Yeah, like yeah. it's such an intense flavour that you don't really need too much, yeah. but it helps to bring up some of the. Is it, it kind of bitter as well, obviously. In the name, but it's like a little bit. Thing. No, no, exactly, no, no. <laughs> um, yeah, but it's it's a little bit bitter. Yeah. But it does so much for a cocktail. It yeah. adds so much depth and complexity. Yeah, yeah. Nice. So next we're gonna add the ice. Cool. So, as it's yep. your cocktail, okay. I'm going to let you do the honours. Right. So you just want to give it a stir really it. good stir. Okay. Really good stir. Just want to get it diluted, you want to get it cold. So you're trying to melt the ice a little bit then? Just a touch, yeah. just a touch. Okay. That Tell seems like it could be good. Yeah? Pretty good, yeah. Right. Yeah, just pop that down anyway. Yeah. So now we're just going to add this to the glass. So mm -hmm. we've got these beautiful glasses. Amazing. And... Finally, we're gonna garnish it. Yeah. So I've got some lime wedges. Just pop that on the edge. Oh, that looks yeah. like a holiday drink already. I feel like I'm. I feel like I'm sitting on the yes. beach already. I'm gonna add some orange slices. And then, pineapple. what do you think about some pineapple leaves? Definitely. Pop a couple in yes, there. Yes. Look at that. There you go. Lovely. Ready Enjoy. to drink? Okay. Yeah. All, All right. yours. Verdict. That's good. It's really good. Nice. Nice. Well, that's yours. Lovely. Feel free. I'll take it with me. Sick. Thanks very much. That's one. Cheers, buddy. Yeah.
Hello. Hey. Hey. How's it going? Fantastic. I'm at your bar. Welcome. Thank Welcome. you. Um, we're going to make some cocktails. Are you a fan of cocktails? I love a cocktail. Sick. So, I hear Halloween is your favourite time of the year. Mm -hmm. You throw legendary parties with Bacardi. Yes. So, I figured we'd make you a special cocktail for your party this year. Amazing. And it's even got a special Halloween face on the side. Yeah. It's really cool. So, it's the same exact same rum, but just have a fancy, spooky face on it. Yeah. Halloween yeah. special, basically. Yeah. So, what's this cocktail called? So, I like to call this the Fright Tie. So, it's a twist on a tiki classic. Amazing. Yeah. So, you ready to get started? Let's go. I'll follow your lead and note it mentally. Amazing. So we're going to start off with Bacardi Spice. We're okay. going to use a double measure. Got you. So it's really easy to make at home as well. Double measure. Double measure. Straight, straight in. in. What kind of flavours are we getting from this cocktail then? So this one is really bright and fruity. So you're going to have some citrus in there, a little bit of orange juice and some grenadine. Okay. So grenadine is like from pomegranates. So you're going to get like a nice, slightly bittersweet note to it. Something that makes you go a bit... Like yeah, so I, I like to think of it as a pick-me-up. Yeah, pick -me -up. just a little edge. Yeah, a little edge. side of the juice. Okay, perfect. And then we're going to go in with our citrus. Citrus up. So we're going to do 15 ml. Straight in. Okay. Then we've got our grenadine. Grenadine, same amount. Same amount, straight in. Some orange juice. I'm always a bit weird with orange juice and cocktails. It reminds me of mimosas in the morning most of the time. But you've got grenadine and everything else. Exactly. In. So it's, it's like, it's a little bit more fancy than a mimosa. Straight, yeah, I get you. So we're going to do another double measure of orange juice, plus a little bit more. And have you had one of these before? I have. It's actually so tasty. What's your favourite cocktail in the world? Mm, I would have to say a daiquiri. Okay. Just, Crowd pleaser. Yeah, super easy. Just like super clean, super fresh. Get lots of lime juice in there. Yeah, really tasty. What's now next? we've just got to do the almond essence. Okay. So in the traditional classic tiki, we would use orgeat, which is made from it's a syrup made from almond. But instead, we're going to do a little bit of a hack. We're going to use almond essence. Just okay. use a couple of drops just so you get that nutty, nice flavour. Nice little bit of nuts in there. Okay. Have you uh, been to a Halloween party before? Do you know what? I'm normally working on Halloween. So I, yeah, sadly, I've never been to a Halloween party. No. Do you dress up? At work, I'm not allowed to, but I have oh. dressed up before. What did you I have you dressed up dress before. Up? Um, Papa, Papa Le Gab, Le... Papa. You, you know the Papa. one? You know no. the one I'm talking about. I don't, but you know let's the just one pretend. I'm talking about. Yeah. Okay, good. So we've got everything in, and now we're going to add some ice. Okay. As it's your drink, I'll let you do the honor. Put some ice. How much ice is? All the way to the top. Okay. All of it. Yeah, you know, if I wasn't a presenter, I always said that my other dream would be to be a bartender and travel the world. Oh, yeah? But be one that threw it in the air and a did. Flair bartender. There we are. Yes. Yes, I can see you doing that. Actually. Yeah, because it's social, you get to meet people, you get to drink. Yeah, and 100%. Dance. It's 100%. It's a nice time. It's such a good job. Yeah. I'm going to let you do the honest. I've been doing all the work. I'm just going to okay. let you shake it as hard as you can. Hard, hard, hard. Yes. Yes. I yes. I reckon it's right. I reckon that's good now. Okay. Okay, so we're just going to open it. Looks Delicious. Good. Looks yeah. good. And then we're just going to pour it into oh. this glass. Go for it. Beautiful. Amazing. And quick and simple as well at the same time. Exactly. So all we have to do now is garnish it because we taste with our eyes. That's we one of my favourite tastes. taste with our eyes. So we've got some orange, some lime pieces, and just because it's Halloween, some Halloween treats. Squeezy worms. Yeah, worms, yeah. Okay. So like that kind of thing, is that beautiful, what we're up to? Beautiful, beautiful. It's like you've done this before. I love, I mean, I'm, my favourite cocktails are the ones where you can put loads of stuff in. Yeah. I love eating on top, like, stuff on top of the cocktail that I can just pick off and eat. Drink and dessert at the same time. Exactly. There we are. So I'm just going to worm it up. Delicious. Delishy. And there it is. Verdict? Lovely. It's awesome. like a tropical, scary treat. That's what I aimed for. Thank you very much. You're welcome. All right. And a little. <laughs> yeah.
Hi everybody, I'm Maya Jammer and I'm here with Bacardi Spice and Defected Presents Drum Sessions. So we're gonna have a bit of a party tonight, streamed on Twitch, but before all of the music and you turning up your speakers, I am joined by Mele. Hello. Hello, how are you doing? I'm good, how are you? I'm all right, thanks, not good, bad. Good. Um, songs. Yes. Favourite song in the whole wide world? Do you know what? It's This is an easy one. It's Roy Davis Jr., Gabriel. Yes. Because it's like... It, that record has got the power to make me feel like so up for it, but so melancholic at the same time. Is that a word? Melancholic? Mel I mean, you're asking the wrong person, I'd say yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but it's just one of them records, I don't know what it is, it, whether it's the chords in it or the vocal. I just love it. And it kind of reminds me of when I used to live down here. Yeah. So yeah, I'd say that one. Brings back all the memories. And yeah. how about when you're playing, what song is the guaranteed Shut Down The Dance? <sighs> Do you know what? Like, uh, this isn't pre-planned, right? <laughs> but man, you, I've got this new record out called Groove at Africa, right? Promo your team. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But I've, been, I've been playing it all year and it is, it's like a cheat code in the rave. Yeah. It's just, it's just facts. It just is. So yeah, I think, yeah, Groove at Africa. Probably. That song. Yeah, it yeah. does what it needs to do every time. Yeah, yeah, Amazing. Yeah. And how often do you go out? Are you a partier when you're not playing? Um, yes, I kind of, I don't do it as much as I'd like to. I actually did it the other day for the first time in a long time. How did it feel? Really weird. <laughs> I didn't know what to do with myself. Everybody's a bit socially awkward nowadays. Yeah, though, aren't they? yeah. but even like, I'm so used to, I'm going to sound really gassed here, but like, you're so used to being backstage and like, do you know yeah, what I mean? Like, job, yeah. having like the toilet backstage and all that. And it's like, I was just kind of standing in the rave going, <laughs> <laughs> don't touch me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was really weird. But, um, no, it was, it's really nice because you kind of, you know, you listen to music as it's meant to be listened to. Mm -hmm. And like you experience the club how it's meant to be experienced rather than, you know, like I'm just there to work. So. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice. You get the full experience. And yeah. then I suppose it might help your sets as well if you know how it's yeah, received it down there. Yeah, it And yeah, it's, it's like it's so much more sort of inspiring going to things like that and listening to different DJs rather than, you know, turning up, playing for an hour and going home. Yeah. Is that what you do? Do you ever stay out after? Yes. Yeah, all the time. <laughs> Let's be honest. <laughs> What's the point of being a DJ if you're not yeah. having a good time with it? it all right. And then going back to just the whole musical experience yeah. and how what music means to people, why it makes them dance, why it makes them feel all of these things. I think it was, again, going back to when I was out the other day, I kind of I looked at it from what it was. And, you know, there's so many different types of people, ages. And, you know, the, the amount of friends that I've met through music that, I probably would never have met if I was doing another job mm -hmm. or, you know, people from different... I'm from Liverpool, well, just outside of Liverpool. And the kind of the people that I've met from, like, so many different cultures through music yeah, is, like, still, like, blows my mind. So it's, like, when I'm kind of on the dance floor, like, watching all that happen and people having them experiences, like, yeah, I love that. Unbeatable. Yeah, it's the best. And how would you describe your set? In only three words. <sighs> I would say soulful because I think soul in the music that I play and make is really important. Um, I would say energetic because I like to give it the big one when I'm DJing. Yep. Um, <laughs> and I would say colourful because I kind of see music. I might want people that see music. Are you music one of those? That's yeah. a specific type of person. There's a word for it. I yeah, think. I don't know what it is, but like I've got this music seers. Yeah, I've got like this thing where it's like I will see sort of music in colours and stuff. So I say colourful. That's like a kind of superpower. Yeah, it's mad. Yeah, that's my superpower. There you are. Yes. You know what you're dressing up for as Halloween then? <laughs> Superpower visual music guy, <laughs> something like that. <laughs> well, thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, you're off now to go and make a spice Bacardi um, cocktail with our yes, bartender. Yes. Enjoy it. Thank you very much. And enjoy your set. I'll see you later. Thank you. See thank you. Later. you. Bye. Yeah.
welcome. Hey man, thank you. Thanks for having me. No worries. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm really good, man. I'm looking forward to uh, getting into a cocktail now. Yeah. Are, yeah. are you a fan of cocktails? I love it. Nice. Yeah, I love nice. a cocktail. I think like anything with spiced or dark rum is a go-to for me. So. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Well, you're in the right place. Yeah. You're in the right uh, place. Clearly. Um, <laughs> Okay, so if you had to use three words to describe your sound, mm -hmm. what would they be? I think it'd probably be energetic, uh, soulful, and colourful. Nice. Yeah. Ah, oh, that's really good. Yeah. Okay, so immediately I'm thinking something short with like loads of fruit notes. Oh, yeah. Just to really balance out the, just to really bounce off of the uh, spiced notes of the Bacardi Spice. Yeah. So you've got some vanilla, you've got some cinnamon, mm. you've got some nutmeg in there. Yeah. So. I think Blood Orange is a great addition it. to that. Let's do yeah. it. Okay, yeah, yeah, cool, yeah. let's get started. Cool. Um, we're gonna do 50 ml okay. of Bacardi Spiced. Nice. So all the way to the top of this trigger. There you go. Thank you. Try and know this first time. Yes, the last. Sick. Natural. It's like you've done this before. Have you worked <laughs> in a bar before? Never. Okay. Never. Cool. Yeah, never. Right. So we've got our rum. Now yeah. we're going to move our, over to our Martini Bianco. Okay. It's just a fortified wine. Nice. So we're going to do 15 ml. So you just want to go up to this little line here. Okay. Pour it in. Over to you. Thank you. I do have a bar at home, do you know, like no a bar way. cart, but I've never got it this into it, really. Yeah, well, honest. hopefully this is going to inspire you when yeah, you get yeah, back yeah. just to be whipping up your own cup. Yeah, definitely. So what's your kind of go-to drink when you're out and about? It's always been spice rum and coke. Nice. As just classic. Nice. Um, I do love rum and ginger beer. Um, yeah, I think they're, they're my yeah. favourite too. Nice, yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah. I like that. I like that. Okay, next we're going to move on to our fruity element, yeah. our blood orange. Okay. Super tasty. So we're actually using a blood orange syrup. Okay. And we're not actually using any sugar in this cocktail. So what blood orange syrup is, if you don't know, it's essentially just a syrup that's been infused with blood orange fruit. Nice. And it's super easy to buy. Okay. So we are going to do 15 ml. So again, just to the same line. There you go. Thank you. Oh, there you go. Already. So that's a sugar syrup that has been infused with blood orange. Okay. Next, we're going to add a little bit of lemon juice just for acidity and balance. Mm -hmm. We're going to do 20 ml all the way to the top. Here we go. Thank you. Awesome. Now it's time to shake. Let's add some ice to. Have you ever shaken a cocktail before? No. Okay, you're in for a treat. I have. Yeah. I have one of them at home. I've never tried. Okay. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. Oh god. Cool. <laughs> cool. So you got the lid on. Yeah. You want to press it down to make sure that it's completely locked in. Because if it's not locked in. It's going to come gonna get messy. in your hand. Yeah, it's going to cover everywhere. Okay, cool. Okay. Are you confident that that is secure? Yes. Yeah? Yeah. Cool. Follow me. Yeah. Yes. Oh my God, it's cold. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the trick to opening one of these, yeah. so you're going to see like a little gap there. You want to hit the gap. Ah, okay. Like that. This is gonna be hard. This. Sometimes it, you have to you have to have a little bit of a knack with it. Okay. A little bit of a knack. Okay. Oh, it smells amazing. Oh, it does smell amazing. You got a strainer. Okay. Just gonna pop it on the top there. Put all of it into your glass. Look at that. Look at the color of that. All of it's out. Awesome. You see the same thing? This might be my new drink. <laughs> How'd you hold it like this? Yeah, just so that it's secure. Okay. Awesome. Are you sure you haven't done this before? No. Nice. Natural. Nice. Cool, we're just gonna add a little bit of ice. Okay. 
<clears throat> That's really nice, huh? Pop that there, pop these here. Time to garnish, because that's the best part of making a drink for me, yep. making it look pretty. Yep. So we've got some orange slices. Pop it there, lovely little pop of color. Nice. And last but not least, we're just gonna add some soda. So what does the soda water do to this, to finish it off? It just adds a nice little bit of effervescence at the end. Okay. Just really lightens it, lifts it up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice. Add a touch more. Over to you. Thank you. Nice. Yeah. Awesome. And this is one I like to call Ray of Light. Cheers, mate. Cheers. Thanks Thank for you very in. much. That's very good. That's incredible. That's very good. Wow. Nice. <laughs> yeah.
you know, God made me funky. Yeah.
Yes, yes. Can everyone hear me? Is that coming out, yeah? Can you hear me? Yeah? We got Melee. Fucking amazing, mate. Wicked music. I'm Archie Hamilton, welcome to Bacardi Spice and Defected Drum Sessions live on Twitch. Big up everyone for coming down. Big up everyone tuned in at home, get yourself a drink and enjoy the music. I don't know what we do. You know the music steps in and saved my life. I gotta thank God for the music. We gotta spread this message to the party people all over the world.
open our minds some more because the only way that we can be successful in our music is by coming together as a community. 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 I feel it. So should you feel it.
I'm 
world is changing now. Join forces through peace and understanding, not hatred and fear. Hatred and fear. My name is Asia Love, and I believe in planetary love. That's why I want you, and I need you.
soulful shelter where vibrant melodies raise the awareness of its children. A space that opens the most discriminating mind to freedom. Freedom and the city move parallel together. Its sons and daughters of house music are the symbol of that freedom. You see, house is freedom and freedom defines house. Can you feel it? Can you hear it? It's calling. The city, the music, the feeling. It's house music. Do you know house?
yes, yes, everyone. Thank you so much for coming down. Thank you for tuning in. You've listening to the Bahari Spice and Defected Drum Sessions. Hope you had a good night.